Inkscape tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Inkscape. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know, Inkscape is a art software. You can easily use it to draw whatever you want and it's absolutely free as well. So their main website is inkscape.org, right? There's another one such as inkscape.ac. This is not the one that we are going to be using. This is the one that we're going to be using, inkscape.org, right? You're going to come over here and over here, you're going to see you have the download options right here. You can see you have some other options like the current version is 1.4, the stable version. There's the unstable development snapshot, which is like the beta version of a next version. If you want, you can go ahead and download that one and extensions as well. We're going to be using the stable version, right? We're going to click over here. You have been redirected to download it, right? And if you scroll down below, you can see the download option right here in store so just simply click on it and it'll download right and once it's downloaded all right just open it up and then just simply install it so as you can see i've already downloaded it and i'm going to install it so i'm going to go ahead and install it right here you can see you have all the options leave it as it is all right you can select where you want to you know install it click on next click on install give it a couple of seconds all right to install the software and you should be good to go as you can see it literally takes a couple of seconds and we are done i believe and once it's installed just simply click on finish and you can go ahead and run the program open it up and get started so here is how it looks like this is the setup right here this is the application when you first you know launch it it's going to ask you to go ahead and get started with the canvas right you're going to define what the canvas is right here you can see it's the default version you've got the dark version the light checkboard or the dark checkboard the checkboard indicates that you know it's going to be a transparent background right uh, if you want a solid background go with the dark one you know it depends on you but it depends on you what you want i'm going to go with the black checkboard or the dark checkboard and then down below you've got the keyboard all right you can select whichever one you want i'll leave it as it is nothing too crazy you've got the colorful appearance right here colorful a grayscale you know whatever you want down below you can see the icons as well so if you select grayscale they're all going to look like that classic is going to be something like this compact is this you know it basically changes the entire overall theme of it and this is the system default and then this is the classic inkscape i'm gonna go with the colorful option because i feel like that is much better you can select the dark option and white option from here you've got supported by you know the other time the their links to support them then you've got time to draw over here you can go ahead and import existing files you've got the shape builder right here screen social video you know you can select whichever canvas you want and yeah but once that's done just simply click on the save button go on thanks and now you can go ahead and select the canvas shape right so now let's go ahead and select one of these canvases right you can select whichever one you want as you can see you've got the prints video socials you know whatever it is you want let's say we select a custom option right in the custom one you can go ahead and you know select whichever option you want and then just select the new document right so let's say we select actually let's go back and select the portrait option we select the portrait and then the canvas is going to open up and this is how it looks like this is inkscape here you will have your canvas this borderline indicates that you know what this is the border of your canvas and it you're going to go ahead and create whatever it is that you want on the left hand side you're going to have all of your main options right such as the node tool you've got shape builder tool here with this one you can go ahead and build different shapes so you must select the object to use the shape builder right you've got the uh, rectangle tool here you can go ahead and create different rectangles and of course you can always change the color from the bottom you've got a whole variety of different colors if you can if you want let me see if i can go ahead and increase the size there should be i don't think i can but yeah you can just simply scroll down and you will find all the little colors that you would want right you can see right here if i scroll down if i click on this button right here on this hamburger corner i can go ahead and find all the different types of different colors so you've got the khaki colors the latex uh, beamer the royale the solarized colors svgs you know you've got a bunch of different options right here so you can select any color you want and you know you can change the shape of the color as well and now if we select the shape or well 
the shape builder you can go ahead and select it as well moving on we've got the eclipse arc tool so what this is also like a shape tool so you know you can go ahead and create that you've got the uh, diamond or the polygon or the star option i believe you've got the 3d box tool the swirl tool so this one you know you can create different swirls around it you've got the uh, pen tool right here with it you can go ahead and connect or create different lines like so you know create different shapes whatever you know if you drag and drop it you can go ahead and actually go ahead and create different shapes just like that and you can go ahead and undo them by clicking on the Control z button or if you're on a mac then it's going to be command z you've got the uh, pen tool right here or the pencil tool whatever you want to call it and you've got the calligraphy tool you've got the text tool as well if you click on it and then you can type whatever you want like so and then you can go ahead and select the selector tool and then increase the size of that tool like so let me just go ahead and there we go i think that looks much better maybe we can even go ahead and put make it a little bit wider like that and then we can change the color to whatever we want you've got the gradient tool right here with this one you can go ahead and create different gradient effects of that tool i think it would be much better if you just simply go ahead and attach it on that tool but you know it depends on you you've got this mesh tool as well with this you can create different meshes you've got the dropper tool you've got the paint bucket the tweak tool you've got the spray tool the eraser tool connector tool lpe tool you've got the measurement you've got the zoom in tool right here and then you've got the pages tool as well at the top you can find there's a circle right here this is like a margin or well borders that can show you how or the exact coordinates of your canvas and where you're placing your mouse on the right hand side you can see you've got some other options like layers and fill options as well in each layer you can find all these different layers or whatever options that you've placed upon them you can go ahead and stack them up or you know lock them or delete them or you know select whichever one you want move them up and down you've got the fill and stroke options right here as well and you can also increase the blur option as well so as you can see yeah, if i select the text tool i can go ahead and increase the blur i can increase the opacity as well over here at the top you've got the zoom in zoom out so you've got the zoom by one by one ratio one by two two by one custom whichever option you want i'll just zoom out like so I can quickly zoom in the canvas by pressing the control button and you know using my mouse wheel or trackpad whichever option you want if you want to scroll up just simply scroll up with your mouse tool if you want to scroll to the sideways press shift and then use the mouse tool or trackpad whichever tool you want and you should be good to go but yeah and of course you know depending upon you each tool whatever you want you can go ahead and select each of these tools and you know use them accordingly however you want to it totally depends on you but yeah over here you will find that each of them have their own sub options as well so for example if i selected this uh, pen tool you can see at the top you've got the modes you've got the regular mode the spiral mode the line mode or the sequence of a straight line or the create a sequence of pixel lines as well so if i select that I can go ahead and select lines like that they're gonna be all in straight lines none of them are gonna be well connected and then you can just simply connect the entire shape just like that so as you can see this is a shape that i just created so you can go ahead and pretty much do whatever you want and once you have finished your drawing your document whatever it is that you're creating if you want to export it click on the file button and you will find the export options right here called controls and you can go ahead and export it if you want quickly want to export it you can press the control shift e button and that will quickly go ahead and export it you can save the entire project by clicking on save button or save or save as a copy you know it depends on you so click on export you're going to have some options right here at the right corner at the bottom you can see you can export it with the background color export only selected whichever one you want you can find the location of the export and the file type as well click on the settings button to go ahead and change the format options you know change it its bit depth from rgb from 8-bit to 16-bit whatever you want compression size or anti-alias whatever you want and then just simply click on the export button and there you go it's pretty cool pretty simple so this is how you do it this is how you use inkscape i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye